guys. Today is part two to my uh, most recent menu Roblox shipping tutorial series, so let's get right into it. Today we are going to be adding some more features to our buttons, adding menu music, and a lot more, so let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to get into is adding a feature to our buttons. So in the last part we left off with button sound and a back button and a play button. So you guys can see here, back button and the button sounds you guys can hear those so now we're just gonna actually add a feature to our buttons so this one is something that I know I've seen a couple games do before and if you guys have ever seen Star Wars Battlefront I actually made a menu based off of this you guys can see here you guys will be able to see it as the little frame around you guys see the yellow frame when you hover over it I'm gonna be teaching guys how to do that this makes your menu look a lot more professional and I feel like it um, adds a cool feature to your buttons so let's get into it so it's actually re really simple so you guys want to go into we're just going to start off with going to our play button script and when we go to mouse enter we're just going to be adding something so we're going to go right below here and we're going to do script dot parent dot order size pixel equals three okay and then when you go mouse leave, we're going to go in here, we're going to script dot parent dot order size pixel equals zero. Just like that. And uh, one thing you actually want to do before we test this is go over to your uh, border size and make sure it's the color you want. So I picked lime green because that's what my button looks like. But just make sure it's the color you want. And you guys can see that will work here if we test it out. So let's uh, go ahead and test it out. You guys can see the green comes up. It looks a lot more professional in my opinion. It just looks a lot cooler when you click the button. Now we're actually going to be doing this for every button so you guys can actually just like copy this code over to our about button. Down here as well. But instead of three we'll do zero. Like that. We can close our play button script and finally our back button. Throw it in there. And one more. Zero. Just like that. And we can go ahead and test all of that right now. Set the frames. You guys can see it a little bit better there. This looks a lot cooler. Alright, now we're going to be getting into uh, menu music and another cool feature which I wanted to uh, show it's a game teleport alright for our teleport button we're just gonna go ahead and go to our test frame and make it visible and we're gonna duplicate the back button and drag it into the center this is for our teleport button so we're just gonna call this teleport button scroll down and set it back we're gonna call it teleport like that and go inside the local script of teleport button and we're gonna change this around so we're just gonna delete this right here before we do anything else, we're going to add some locals. We're going to do local teleport service equals game get service. Open close parentheses quotations teleport service. And then we're going to add another one called local game ID. And this is where you want to put your game ID. I'm just going to put something random. Don't even know if that's a game ID or not. And then we're going to do one final one, local player equals game.players.local player. And we're going to go into this section right here, and we're going to do if player, then teleport service colon teleport. And then open close parentheses, game ID, comma, base player. Just like that. And then we're also going to need to add another end, and just like that. And now, close that up, click play. Oh wait, make sure to make your frame non-visible again. There we go. Click play. Click about. Now before we do that, we're going to go to output and do teleport and 
This does not work in Roblox Studio. You can't teleport in Roblox Studio, but in game this will work. So you guys want to test that in game. That's how to make a teleport button. Now we're going to add menu music, and this is a big request. I actually have some more stuff coming out as well, like class selection, and I'm pretty sure I saw something else that you guys wanted. So I'm just going to be doing like a, a huge menu series where I can answer all of you guys' questions and the most um, popular menu features that aren't really in tutorials. So. If you guys have any more, list them down below in the comments. Menu music is really simple as well. Um, I like to do it like this, so we're just going to go back in our main script here. And we're going to add a section called music. And in this case, I don't really have like a music. Let me grab one real quick from the toolbox. I can find audio. Do like... Uh, yeah, we'll just do this. I don't even know what this is like, but uh, yeah. So what you're gonna do with this, you're gonna drag it into your menu, and we're gonna call this menu music. And we're gonna go down. We're gonna create another local before we do anything. We're gonna call it local music equals scripts dot parent dot menu music. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna add uh, music dot or colon play and music dot looped equals true that's all you need there but there is something else we have to do as well so like we're going to take this or we're going to take this bottom line here and no never mind just scratch that okay we're going to go over to our play button go in our main script and we're going to go to where our button is clicked and we're just going to add a line we're going to do script dot a local first uh, Local music equals scripts dot parent dot parent dot menu music and we're gonna add a line here called uh, music dot playing equals false. You guys will see that work, but in this case, because I don't want to copyright, you know, Roblox is always copywriting. I'm just gonna put our my volume to zero, and we're gonna go back in our um, main script here, and if it does work, we'll just like print music is playing. There you go. Okay, let's test that out. Our output music is playing. You guys can see that there. So the music would be playing right now. I just don't want copyright, so yeah. There you go, and once you click play, the the music will go off. So I hope you guys did enjoy this part. I know this part was a little bit more uh, simple, and I just wanted to get the simple stuff out of the way before we get into the complex stuff. But um, yeah, I will see you guys in part three and four. Those will be coming out sometime this week. Um, I'm getting out parts sooner. I apologize for the wait on this one. Um, just been really busy with school and stuff like that. But yeah, I will see you on the next one. Make sure to like. Comment below what you guys want to see in the next few parts, and uh, yeah, 